Your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. And guess what? We're back here again with another action figure review. <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, ladies and gentlemen, and here we are, guys, back at it again with another action figure review! Today we have Brute from Halo 3. That's right, guys. Uh, as you guys know, a lot of Halo action figures are uh, are coming out, making, a, making an appearance again, thanks to McFarlane Toys. Um, so today I figured we'd take a look back at this classic little piece of plastic. Yeah. All right. Before we take a look at him, if you guys didn't see my last review of Top Gun and Bottom Line, please check that out, man, because that, that review was amazing. <laughs> if I say so myself, amazing uh, in more ways than one. But if you guys saw that review... You get if you guys were watching that review, wondering where his head goes. I found a little spot right here where I can peg it into his one of his fingers. So there is him holding the head. So as you guys see, I'm going to leave this built. So these are two figures in ones and in two figures in one. So I'm just going to leave them as is. And because I kind because I kind of think uh, I feel like this uh, this goes uh, pretty well with. Uh, with this I, instead of those just the two figures by them th by themselves i figure you know putting the two together just kind of makes it more epic so this is how i'm going to have it displayed okay so let's get to the man at hand brute right here this is a very sold after figure because as you guys know a lot of the older halo figures they go for some pretty good money uh, so I got this guy loose. So we're going to take a quick look at him uh, because I feel like he's worth a review because I think he's pretty awesome. And a lot of people are doing reviews of the new Halo figures. So I figure it's a, a good time to take a look back at this classic, classic action figure. So let's check out some of his articulation. So his head is on a ball joint and I'll show you guys the detail in a minute. So his head is on a beautiful ball joint. His arms do lift up but they do have a break i like how his arm goes in and out like that his wrists are on a swivel his wrists seem a little loose right there his wrist actually both of his wrists seem a little loose uh his legs go up and down they're kind of like on ball joints and he has i do believe he does have a break i could be wrong as far as a knee bend is concerned yeah, the knee to bend is kind of hard to bend because it's not really bendable. But he does have sw uh, swivel there at the thigh, uh, shin, foot. And he looks a very, a very, very nice. Now, the only problem I have with this figure is he's a small, small guy. He's kind of like your Marvel Legends height. So there's the back of Brute right there. Very, very nice figure, man, especially for its time. Uh, this was uh, from Halo 3, if I can remember. He does come with a weapon. We'll get to that in a moment, but since I got it in my hand, we'll take a look at the weapon. Very, very nice, man. Love Halo. Halo is one of the, probably one of the greatest games ever made. I'm surprised they haven't made a movie on it already. Give you guys a better close-up of Brute, because I think the detail on him is really, really nicely done. There's his shield right there. The knees, the feet. I just love reviewing these older action figures, man. I, I said it before, and, I say, and I'll say it again. Uh, I just get more satisfaction reviewing some of these older figures, man, that people either haven't seen or never even heard of or... Maybe nobody's have done a review of this figure. 
you know, compared to all these other, you know, toy reviewers who are just doing the same review of the same new figure over and over and over again, you know, it's just, just kind of pointless, you know what I mean? So it's always good to go back to the past and, and check out some of the awesome forgotten action figures that were made and shine some light on it. Speaking of shining some light, let's go ahead and measure brutes. So I want them to get them, I want to stand them straight up. Let's move my camera up just a little bit. Let's go ahead and measure this guy. So all the way up to his helmet is just a little bit under seven inches. So he doesn't look like no seven inches, man. Um, I mean, all the way up to his head or his horns, he's just a little bit under six and a half inches. But it's the helmet right here that he's wearing that makes him go to the seven inch mark. So yeah, that's that's pretty unusual. But he is kind of like the size of your typical Marvel legend. Um, speaking of, you know what? Let's break out some other figures and I'll show you some height comparisons. Okay, so I brought out a whole array of figures, man, from kind of everything from DC McFarlane to Marvel Legends to Star Wars, Hasbro, uh, even to NECA. So let's do some comparisons. So to compare him with a Marvel Legend here is um, Brute with Toxin right here. So there's the height comparison. That's kind of what I was talking about as far as him being a Marvel Legend. Of course, Toxin is not your average Marvel Legend. He's a little bit taller than your average Marvel Legend, obviously, as you can see. So Toxin does stand a little bit under the seven inch mark, right, right, right above the six and a half mark, and right below the seven in seven and a half mark. Uh, Zeb, one of my last reviews that I did, Zeb, right there. It's hard to believe. Let me see. Let me let me measure Zeb again. Zeb, yeah. It is right. Yeah, he does stand to his ears about six and seven eighths. So he's just under seven inches tall. It's hard to believe that this guy is under seven inches tall, but I guess it makes sense, right? It's just this hat that makes this guy look tall, or his helmet, whatever you want to call it. Of course, they have they're rocking similar feet. <laughs> they go to the alien uh, Foot Locker. Speaking of alien, here is the Alpha Predator with brute and you see the size comparison this alpha predator is freaking huge dude i think this alpha predator stands at from what i can remember eight and a half nine inches maybe a little bit under nine inches tall he's a big guy man one of the one of the biggest predators there is so and then they break out like a dc mcfarland figure your seven inch height and this kind of makes a, uh, a little bit of sense right here. Here's Batman Earth 44 from what I can remember. And you can see the height comparison. Um, it's, it's the helmet for Brute that makes this guy look tall. But there's the size comparison. You can see that Batman, man, he's a little bit taller. He's beating him by his ears. Okay, so let's break out his weapon. Put the weapon in his hand. See how he looks holding this weapon. And he looks, man, he looks a uh, hundred times better. Of course, his his uh, his wrists are a little bit loose. I feel like I should get some like glue and put it in there to where I can make it sturdy. But then again, I got this other arm right here, which this is probably probably how I'm gonna have him posed. I'm gonna have him holding this axe right here. Get in there! Get in there! Get in there! Get in there. Holding the axe like that. There he goes. Now he looks awesome. Yeah, he looks way better holding the axe, man. Very, very dope figure. I just love reviewing some of these uh, vintage, like, lost treasures, man. And I, I hope you guys are, you know, appreciate, appreciate this and tune in and watch these reviews all the way through because I'm not your typical toy reviewer. I'm, I'm kind of sporadic. Does he have a... No, his jaw is not articulated, if you're asking. <laughs> That's what I mean by being sporadic. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and give you my rating, man. I think this guy is dope. I think he's very, very unique. And listen, I'm looking forward to building up my uh, my Halo collection, my McFarlane Halo collection. Um, he's definitely, definitely worth the pickup, man. If I can get his arm in properly. 
Let's see. Ugh. I'm trying to bend his arm properly, but it doesn't really want to move. There we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to put some glue into this hand because it's just not sitting properly. Very dope figure, man. I love this guy. Okay, let me give you my rating. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, I'm going to give this guy... You know what? I'm going to give him a solid 7. Maybe a seven and a half. Uh, I love the coloring. I love the orange and red for his armor right there. He's really, really unique, man. I definitely do recommend this guy if you guys collect Halo figures. It's always good to go back to the past and collect some of these older vintage figures. And as you guys can see, he doesn't hold this axe very well. Maybe if I put it like that like that like that and it's hard for him to hold it too because let me see maybe if i twist his arm this way and put it this way because i feel like it's getting in the way there we go yeah very dope man uh, definitely seven and a half for me let me know what you make of this guy do you own them do you guys collect halo figures Leave your thoughts in the comments section, guys. And there was Brute! Brute! The legendary Brute. Just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out!